be looking forward to? Hitting people. Every single person in this room, you're handpicked. And just because you're a rookie doesn't mean you can't be a leader. We really need you to bring that leadership. I would say the greatest thing that's ever happened to me is getting fired at Texas Tech. I was walking in, I said it feel good to be starting to camp in Arizona because the last two years I wasn't here, man. Room 509, man, that's what it got me. I can't go nowhere without my PS5. And then you got a great view right here, great view of the stadium. It's, it's a new year. Last year was last year. Um, what you did last year doesn't matter anymore. Um, that's how I treat it. All right, Bird Gang, we are in the final stretch leading up to training camp 2021. It's just around the corner. In the meantime, first-year players and quarterbacks report today for the annual rookie quarterback minicamp. This is the big present came in from Kyler. It's big and red. Token of our appreciation, Kyler. Dad, Dan Deardorff, Kurt Warner, Nia Swams, Pat P, Roger Worley, Jim Hart, Carson Palmer, Larry Centers, Larry Wilson, Pat Tillman, Adrian Wilson, and Roy Green. Wow. And Fitz. They, that is awesome. They capture his, his smile and his everything perfectly. He's got his bow tie on there. Clearly tied on himself, just a little crooked. It's kind of fun, but uh, a lot of great memories. <clears throat> That's the way he admired the players. He loved the players and loved being around the game. Miss him a lot. Miss him every day. It's just really exciting. Um, just all the preparation that's going in because I know this is about to be a real serious um, phase that we're entering. Um, and it's just a great opportunity to start learning the playbook uh, better and just get prepared for what's coming ahead of us. Well, I just want to learn as much as possible. I want to get as much knowledge as possible because uh, I know there's a lot of smart guys around me, a lot of guys with uh, a lot of experience that I can learn a great amount from. And at the same time, I want to be able to show my talent and show what I can do because I know, I know what I bring to the table. How we doing? Everybody good? How you doing? What's up, Dave? How you doing, man? 
here. Where do you want me? Here or here? Here? Oh, All right. Yeah. Appreciate you doing this. Of course. I've been in here for a while. Ohm's rolling? Okay, here we go. Well, Cliff, first of all, man, I really appreciate you doing this. First podcast. You know, I, I always knew, because I wasn't a great athlete, I always knew I wanted to be a broadcaster. When did you know you wanted to be a football player? Because I don't think people realize how good of a player you were in high school and then at Tech. I mean, you set a ton of records, school records, conference records, NCAA records. When did you know you wanted to be a football player? Yeah, I was kind of born into it because my dad was a Texas high school football coach, and, and then I was – um, born in central Texas, which is, you know, football is a religion. And so I, I, I knew at an early age, um, just going to practices with him, being around the game, that, that I really loved it, you know, fell in love with playing quarterback and um, kind of rolled with it. In your mind, when you come into this season, what are your expectations? I think Steve's done a tremendous job of bringing in some real veteran leadership, and, and that was an era that cost us some games last year um, due to lack of you know discipline, which starts with me, and, and um, we all have to be more accountable on that front. You know, We had some tough penalties. I think we led the league in uh, offensive drives stalled by penalty, and I, I think we led the league in allowing drives to continue based upon either pass interference or holding. And that's right. just something, if you want to take that next step and be a playoff football team, you can't do that. And we recognize that. We wanted to bring in some veteran leaders that could help us really monitor things and, and um, you know, practice at a discipline, uh, high effort level every day. What about defensively? Anything that stands out to you just when you look at the roster and think about the possibilities for this year? Bringing J.J. was huge. Uh, Jordan, a healthy Jordan Phillips is something we're all hopeful for. I mean, he, he's an impact guy. You look back at the games he played in, and he, he was, was huge for us. Chandler Jones is an impact guy that, that um, everybody's very familiar with. I think bringing in Malcolm Butler, getting Robert Alf Alford healthy. I mean, these are established veteran players that have been really successful in the league and bring a lot of great leadership. You know, you mentioned J.J. When you watch him and when you talk to him, what, what makes him special? There's a certain level of intensity that he has. I mean, when he walks into any room in that building, I think everybody kind of stand up a little bit straighter, <laughs> whether it's the weight room, meeting rooms. I remember hopping on the first Zoom team meeting we had this offseason, and he's, you know, staring at you, writing down every word. And so he just – he brings it every day. You knew what you were getting into when you took the head coaching job in the NFL. If you win, you can write your own ticket for a long time. If you don't, you know, the pressure is going to be on. You know, how much do you think about that? Does that motivate you? I would say the greatest thing that's ever happened to me is getting fired at Texas Tech. Because if you get fired from a place that you're passionate about, you have all your friends, all these ties there, I mean, that, that's a real baptism by fire. And, and so after going through that experience, I just kind of refocus myself. And, and I know what's important. My job is to maximize these players and, and try to put the best team on the field that's possible. And that's what we're going to continue to try and do. Well, listen, man, I really appreciate the time. I'm a big fan, always been, and I, I hope you guys have a great year, man. Appreciate it, Dave. Thanks right, for having Cliff. me. Awesome, man. Right, appreciate man. it. Thank you. Yep, thanks, Cliff. It's here, finally. Training camp has arrived. Football is back. Today, the Cardinals report to State Farm Stadium to kick off the 2021 season. It's been a long, long wait. Training camp begins in hours. We looking forward to hitting people. Definitely now the time training camp is, you know, just less together than this before we roll into the season. So now it's the time to just turn it up. You know, that's what training camp's for. So just uh, kind of laying the foundation for a playoff and hopefully a, a championship push. Thanks so much. Welcome. Perfect. Other door. Other door? <laughs> Don't get that on here. What's the best part about training camp? When it's over and the real games start. They're doing great. They, they, they out at the grandparents' house right now. He had he all, he all FaceTimed me this morning. Dad, you start camp today. So he all excited. How you doing? I'm feeling great, man. I'm feeling great. I was walking in. I said it feel good to be starting the camp in Arizona because the last two years I wasn't here, man. So it feel normal, though. It feel normal. I'm supposed to be here and be able to help the young guys out, too. So that's what I'm looking forward to. It's a lot of great young players we got. We just picked up, and I'm looking forward to helping those guys out, too. Andrew, come on, get up. 
I'm Tay Godwin from Covington, Georgia. So cool. I've been playing football my whole life since I was five years old. I come from a single parent home. Once so my family needs me to make this dream come true, I'm a truly believer in God. And anything I do, I always want to put my best foot forward. Coach BJ. What up, man? Good, you good? You ready yeah. to roll? Yeah, I got it. Yes, sir. Man, proud of you, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Let's go to work. I got you. How does it feel to be at your first NFL camp? Dream come true, man. I'm super excited, man. I, um, I've been a kid my whole life, been wanting to go to the NFL. So me going to my first camp, I'm going to cherish this moment for the rest of my life. It's going to be a big moment. It's a big moment in my life. So I'm going to give it all I got. Room 509, man. That's what it got me at for camp, man. I'm excited. They got me rooming next to my boy Marco. They're going to keep us together, man. I like that. Real tight. A little cold in here. I got. I like to keep my room cold. Uh, yeah, man. I got got my PS5. Got some left <laughs> leftover food right here. Uh, and I ain't bring too much. I got a suitcase. Um, I got my notes and stuff. My I keep that out, man. Got to keep studying. I got a little drip over here. I show y'all. I show y'all a little some little Dior's right here, man. I got a little drip. A little dry. Not too much. Not too much. And uh, yeah, this this one will be at for camp, man. I'm excited, man. I got two beds just in case I want to sleep in that one. <laughs> but yeah, man. Then you got a great view right here. Great view of the stadium. One will be for camp, man. Where home gonna be at for the next ten years. So it's lit, man. I get to see. I get to wake up and see and visualize how my day gonna go. So right here, man. I got my prize possession, my PS5. Mainly what I play on my PS5, I play Call of Duty Warzone. So if anybody want to play with me, just let me know. Um, when I don't feel like playing Warzone, I play a little Fortnite or I play a little Apex. Kind of the games I like to play. But I can't go nowhere without my PS5. <laughs> so right here, man, it's my, um, my rookie, my rookie um, contract signing pen. Um, I take this everywhere with me, where I go, because it's a big accomplishment in my life. Ooh, it's a big boy pen right here. Quintadrian Galvin. Rookie contract signing. Anything is possible. I, I keep God first and just keep working hard. So I always keep pushing in how far I came, but the job not done. So that's why I keep this pen right here. Tay Gowan out of UCF, who opted out of playing his 2020 season to protect his premature daughter and not risk exposing her to COVID. In 2019, after the season, going into the next season, um, I had got COVID around my daughter. She was born prematurely at two pounds. I put her in a real risk uh, position and I didn't want to do that again. So I spent that time protecting her and make sure she was safe and make sure I graduate. So it was a bit hard time in my life because I know I put a lot of money on the line making that decision. I'm here now and I'm, I'm here, to, here to do what I got to do for her. So this is going to be a big blessing and then it's going to be a great opportunity for me. Thank you, Coach. It's great to see all of you here. It's great to be in person. Every single person in this room, whether you're a rookie, a veteran, a veteran free agent, or a veteran that we traded for, you're handpicked. And just because you're a rookie doesn't mean you can't be a leader. We really need you to bring that leadership to your room, to the sideline, to practices, and make sure that we're the most disciplined team in the National Football League. If we do that, and stay healthy, everything's gonna take care of itself. So I wish you all the best of luck. I'm gonna be here a lot. You'll see me around. I'm looking forward to getting to know the new players and the new faces, and I wish you all a lot of luck. Thank you, Coach. Get a break. They want Change, a get a break. Time.
Get on the field, get stretched. They want to have a long train, long season, no bad days allowed, bro. Work one, three, one, two, three, work. Yeah, I love competition. Every year you see younger guys getting drafted coming in. That's something that I already knew that was going to happen, but I love competition at the end of the day. He's a very talented group. There's a ton of talent in this locker room. There's a lot of young guys, and I think that there's all the makings of a great team here. Going into year three, I just feel like he really feels like it's his team now. It's on us to come out here and put a good camp together. Obviously, being perfect is very tough, but we're going to get damn close. <laughs>